Hi there! If you want to know how to add a zipper to latex, this video is for you. First, we need to rubberize our zipper. The glue used for latex only adheres to latex, so we need to saturate the fabric with latex. Here, I'm using the same solvent-based latex glue that I used to attach latex sheets together, but it is advised to use ammonia-based glue that is sold as zipper glue to do this as you would only need one coat with it. If you don't have zipper glue, you can also use the solvent-based glue, but it takes more time and more layers to rubberize the zipper. You need to apply the glue on the fabric on both sides of the zipper, and once the layers have dried, you should continue adding glue until you reach a point where you can't see the texture of the fabric anymore. Mine still has some texture on it, but for the best results, the surface should be smooth like a latex sheet. Before we start gluing, we need to clean the seams with a heptane-based solvent and a lint-free rag. To make the latex adhere properly, you should scrub the surface with the rag as you go. Then we need two pieces of latex that are a bit longer than the zipper itself and a bit wider than the sides of the zipper. We also need a small piece to glue to the bottom of the zipper slit to reinforce the latex and prevent any tearing. Once the seams are clean and dry, we can glue the small piece to the back side of the latex. Once that is done, we can flip the latex over and start positioning our zipper where we want it. Place the zipper underneath the latex and align the zipper head with the top of the latex and so that the zipper can be seen through the slit. The width of the slit should be the same as the zippers. Then we start gluing the zipper by lifting one side of the latex and applying glue on the back side of the latex and the side of the zipper. Once the glue becomes tacky, you should let the latex fall naturally on the side of the zipper and press firmly with your fingers as you go. You need to apply as much pressure as you can to make the seam strong. Then you do the same to the other side. Once that is done, you can flip the latex over and start gluing the long strips on both sides of the zipper. This gives a stronger seam and it feels nicer against the skin. As you can see, latex tends to curl up when you add glue to it. If you wait for a while, the latex should straighten up a bit so it will be easier to work with. Once you've placed the strips on the sides of the zipper, press or roll them down firmly. Then you can trim the excess latex and the zipper at the top and the bottom of your piece, and there you have it! Let your seams cure for 24 hours, and then you're all set. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more crafting videos. Thank you for watching, and happy crafting!